Malende notes that a history of heavy alcohol use among the youth in Gulu has been linked with a lifetime tendency towards high-risk sexual behaviors, including multiple sex partners, unprotected intercourse, and sex with high-risk partners, among others. He justified that most of the youth, when drunk, forget about the use of condoms and have live sex. He says that there is the reduction in the spread of HIV-AIDS among the sex workers in Gulu as as opposed to the higher institutions of learning which are registering more cases. He says that TASO is determining why the prevalence rate is higher among the youth in higher institutions of learning. The influence of alcohol tends to to make you feel you know you shouldn't probably you even forget to wear a condom. Probably you do things that will uh, engage into risky behavior. So there are also common instances of, uh, of condom. Of, uh, Alcohol. Alcohol usage. As the world marks World AIDS Day, the impact of the HIV AIDS scourge among its institutions of higher education is worrying. The students are very much at risk because probably they would go to nightclub and they would find this man who they hardly know but has bought for them the alcohol and uh, is willing to pay for them school fees and tuition and everything and they will get into the risky behavior. A 2010 HIV zero behavioral study in six universities in Uganda reveals that the HIV prevalence rate is estimated at 1.2 percent with the highest being in Gulu University at 1.8 percent and the lowest in Barara University at 0.4 percent. The study found out that some of the risk factors of HIV transmission among university students are sexual intercourse with over 78% reported to have said they have ever had sex. According to the study, condom use among the students was very low at less than 40%. It noted that condom use increases with age, from less than 18% of the students aged 15 using a condom at first sexual encounter to about 68% between the ages of 20 and 24. However, condom use thereafter declines to less than 52% among students aged 25 to 29 and declines further to 40% to those aged 30 and above. Also, the study showed that 42% of the students have multiple sexual partners and 8% engage in cross-generational sex.